Welcome to the Sober Bar Keep. I'm Brian Anderson coming to you from Anderson's Guitar Bar here in lovely Link City, Texas. Let's talk tequila! Gotta love tequila. I love tequila. And um, I always have. And uh, Liars has come out with a couple of tequilas. Now let's go back, let's take a step back and talk about tequila a little bit. There are three basic types of tequila. You'll see five mentioned if you read about it because there's a couple kind of subcategories. But basically there are three types of tequila. There's the, uh, the Blanco, which is a clear white tequila. Uh, non-aged, basically, it's fermented, distilled, bottled, and you drink it. This is typically what you see in your house margaritas, uh, in most cases, uh, you know, and, and so you go to a restaurant, get a margarita, most likely you're going to be getting a uh, Blanco. Uh, the next step up is a Reposado. A Reposado is aged anywhere from two to six months in uh, European or American oak barrels, so it pulls a little of that caramel color and flavor out. It's kind of a lightly colored, um, uh, Tequila, um, it's used a lot of times in your premium margaritas. It'll be used in a Paloma. It'll be used uh, in some of the more complex drinks um, because it's got a more complex flavor to it. Then there's an Añejo. Añejo is, is aged for a minimum of a year uh, in uh, oak barrels. And it's got a, a much deeper color, a much deeper flavor. And it's typically drink neat. Uh, you'll see it in cocktails as well, but it's a more expensive, more complex, uh, um, and it's something that you just sit around and sip, uh, and, and it's a very smooth, smooth tequila. Uh, some of your Blancos can be a little harsh, um, but, but they, they're used uh, primarily, again, in margaritas. So today we're going to take a look at one of two of the new uh, Liars products. Uh, this is their uh, Agave Blanco Spirit, so this is their take on a, on a, Blanca, a Blanco tequila. Um, they've also got a Reserva, which we're going to try later on uh, down the road here a little bit. Uh, but we're going to start with this one. So let's take a look at what they've done with a Blanco-style tequila. First off, it's, you know, it's crystal clear. looks like water uh, when you pour, which is what you would see in a Blanco tequila. You smell it. It's definitely got that tequila agave smell to it. Got a little peppery smell to it. Um, uh, it's got a... I don't know how to describe it. It's got a slight glycerin smell to it. Uh, it's not off-putting at all, uh, but it's there. Let me try it. Again, a Blanco is not something that you would typically sub on, but let me tell you, <laughs> this is really good. Um, the heat hits you immediately, which is, I mean, representative of a tequila for sure. The mouthfeel of this is really, really nice. Hats off to Liars. Some of the early Liars products that I tasted and tried were a little thin, uh, you know, when you tried them just out of the bottle like this, uh, and, and, you know, and you didn't notice it when you mixed them uh, in, in cocktails. Uh, but when you drink them thin, uh, the mouthfeel wasn't as, as um, it, was, it was a little watery. This has not got this. It's got a much fuller mouthfeel to it, uh, and, and I love it. I think it's great. Um, this just tastes fantastic. It's got a very long, long aftertaste, a long tequila-type aftertaste. Um, you know, it's almost... <laughs> I describe what I drink tequila is fire breath. I mean, you feel like that. It, it's really cool. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, and, and again, I, I don't know that I would pour this and sip on this, uh, but it's got some characteristics to it that, uh, that you know, kind of light you on fire a little bit. And I, I love it. It's really warm. Um, it's great. So let's mix up a margarita with this thing uh, and take a look at it and see see what we got. that up later. All right, so typical margarita that I do, and we're going to mix it up a little bit here, and I'll explain to you here in a minute. We're going to do, um, almost always use two shots of whatever my, um, my spirit is, especially for the, for the margaritas. So we're going to do two shots of the Blanco. We're going to do one shot of the Liars Triple Sec, because that's what you do with margarita. Clip typical house margarita, you use Triple Sec, so we're going to do that here with this one. So yeah. One shot of the triple sec. We're going to use the juice of half of a small lime. And I know that just shocks you because I don't use half of a small lime on anything. I use it on everything. Um, so, really nice juicy lime here. This is going to be good. All right, now, for, for the kind of the final, final ingredient here, you can use uh, um, simple syrup on this. Uh, a lot of times I'll do that. 
Um, I like, and I've been doing this lately with my margaritas, I'll use a little bit of agave syrup. Um, it, it's, it basically gives you the same sweetness, and I don't use a whole lot because I don't like real sweet drinks. You could, this, this one here is kind of to taste. Add a little bit, add a lot, whatever makes you happy with your margarita. You want a sweeter margarita, add a little more. And you can do the same thing with the simple syrup as I just did with the agave syrup. I like the agave syrup because it adds a little more complexity to it, and it adds a little more of that agave flavor. Um, and, it, and it's pretty easy to find. You can find it almost any liquor store, you can find the agave syrup. So it's not something that's real, you know, really exotic. And, and I try to keep my drinks simple here on the silver I keep because, you know, I, I want stuff that, that, not that I don't like the complex drinks, I think they're really cool. Um, but I try to make something that you could make fairly easy at all. So here we go. That's, uh, that's our uh, um, Liars uh, Agave Blanco Spirit Margarita. And that is really, really delicious. Guys, it's a five. It's a five uh, because it it does what it's supposed to do. It matches in a, 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 uh, uh, a Blanco tequila. That's what they were going for. It tastes, it looks, it feels, and it mixes like a Blanco. Uh, and Blanco is not my favorite style, so this doesn't mean... <laughs> Again, my fives are based on does it match what they were going for. And I believe, in my opinion, this one honestly nails it. It hits it on the head. This is a five because it goes right straight uh, for what they were going for, which is a great um, Blanco uh, tequila that, that works in fantastic in a margarita. So go get some. Love it. Sober Barkey. Football and drink smart.